How to start a business in 2020 with no money. My name is Jonah Barnes Moore. I'm the founder and CEO of JBM Consultants, and I want to thank you for tuning into this video. A um, little bit about JBM Consultants. We do startup and small business consulting. Um, we help aspiring entrepreneurs and small businesses strategize, mobilize, plan, and organize for the future. Okay. Um, I also have this piece of paper. This is part of the reason that it inspired me to start my own business. Um, it's a very expensive piece of paper that I acquired. Um, um, getting that going through that program inspired me to start my own business in 2018, and I've been rocking and rolling ever since. So, how to start a business during these crazy times? We understand, and I'm sure everybody has experienced something from this pandemic that we're currently under. Your business is probably closing. You're probably losing clients. Um, a lot of things are changing and I think that they're changing forever. I think that they're changing for the foreseeable future. So it's time to kind of remake this video, revisit this topic of how to start a business with no money, because the videos that I saw previously, they're kind of in that old way of thinking, right? So the old way says, oh, you got to find something that you're passionate about. You got to make sure you have a good website and you got to make sure you have an LLC. You got to make sure you find your all these vendors to make sure you distribute your product and yada, 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 all that stuff, right? But I'm here to tell you that there's a different way. And I'm going to share my personal experiences with you um, during this video so that you can see there's a better way. Because a part of the inspiration for this video as well was if I wanted to start over today in the current um, climate that we're in, in the current business climate and during this pandemic, what would I do differently? And I came up with these five things. This is how I would start a business with absolutely no money in 2020. Okay, so let's dive right in. Number one, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find a problem that you have the ability to solve and learn everything about that problem. Okay, you got to find a problem that you have the resources and the capability of solving. Okay. For you, it could be tutoring. For somebody else, it could be uh, being a mechanic. For somebody else, it could be making t-shirts, right? It's all about the resources that you already have that you don't have to go out your way to purchase or do anything extra that to acquire in order to solve a certain problem, okay? That's what you got to do. You got to find that problem, okay? And on top of that, you got to learn everything about that problem, right? What causes that problem? How many people have that problem? You know what I'm saying? How hard is it to solve that problem? You know. These kind of things that you have to figure out once you identify what it is, what that problem is that you can solve. OK, now, a lot of people say, oh, it should be something that you're passionate about. Um, yes and no. You can be passionate about it. Sure. But realistically, it's more important that you're solving a problem. For instance, I'll use my company as an example. Um, when we first started the company in 2018, we wanted to be an innovation company. Right. As you can see here, my shirt says innovate forever. We wanted to help companies innovate for sustainability so that they can stay ready, never have to get ready um, and never be disrupted. All right. Now, our vision and our mission has changed. Right. The passion and the reason why I'm doing my business has changed. So now it's to help aspiring black entrepreneurs and a small black owned businesses to um, strategize, mobilize, organize and plan for the, our sustainable business. Right. So that's kind of how I've shifted. Because due to the current climate, I've been inspired and have a new fire and a new passion, right? So your passion kind of changes, which means that you need to find um, a deeper reason why that will sustain you for the long haul. And that's what we've done here at JBM Consultants, right? So that's why the passion is a yes and no question. But what's more important, regardless of how you're feeling and regardless of your passion, you need to find a problem that you have the ability to solve. Okay, and mine is sharing knowledge with a lot of people about business, how to start, how to sustain and those things. All right. So that's number one. Number two, you need to find the people that have the problem that you can solve. Right now, this is the most important part. You got to find the people who have that problem. Right. So now that you already know everything about the problem, you got to know everything about the people with that problem. Right. So you got to understand how old that person is. You got to understand where that person lives. You got to understand what that person's goals frustrations, likes, habits, beliefs, all of these different things that you have to know about the person that you're solving this problem for is really important, right? You just like when people say know your art audience, all right? This is kind of identifying your target audience, okay? But you're finding these people that have the problem that you can solve. That is very important, right? You got to study these people. 
How do they actually interact on social media? Who do they follow? What do they like on social media, right? These things are important, okay? And after you've found these people, right, leads me to number three, connect with these people, right? We're in a super connected world. We're in a hyper connected world, right? We can connect with people all across the, road, the globe with a push of a button, right? Through all these different social media platforms. We got YouTube, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got Twitter, we got Snapchat, we got TikTok, we got Pinterest. We have all of these different ways that we can connect with the people who have the problem that we can solve, okay? So that's why it's very important to connect with them. There's no excuse not to, okay? Just hop on all these platforms, find these people and connect with them, okay? The fourth thing that you wanna do, okay? Now that you've found the people and you've connected with them, you need to create content for them, right? You need to you need to get them to understand that you understand on a deep level the problem that they are having, right? And when I'm talking content, I'm talking videos, I'm talking memes, I'm talking blogs, I'm talking pictures, I'm talking all any way that you can get any form of media that you can get in front of your target audience or the people who have this problem is what you need to be creating, right? And on top of creating that content, you also need to let them know hey, I can solve this problem for you, okay? And under, and make them feel like you understand their frustrations, you understand their goals and, and their beliefs through your content that you create, okay? So that's number four. And last thing, number five, set up a free payment platform, okay? That's easy to do as well. You can sign up for different things like PayPal. You can sign up for Square, Venmo, Cash App, you can even do it through Snapcash. You can even Facebook is allowing you to send payments and receive money um, through their messenger app. So there's many ways to actually collect payment once you solve, once you agree to solve a problem for your customer, right? So those are the five things that you need to do. And notice throughout this whole process, we haven't really spent a dime. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of persistence, right? Those three things are important if you want to start a business anyway. Okay, so that's why this is a really good test. If you can do these five things and actually get paid for, oops, excuse me, if you can get paid for solving a problem that you, um, for solving a problem, that is how you know, okay, I actually have a viable business on my hands. Somebody has paid me. And going through this process, that'll tell you, that'll help you determine, right? So you don't really need to spend all that heavy capital up front. You don't need to get the super fancy website. You don't need to get the whole LLC deal, which costs you $800 a year and it's $70 to file um, file for the application and $30 fee that you have to pay the state if you're in California. Those are, you don't need to accrue all of those at the beginning, right? You don't need to go out and find all these vendors. You don't need to do all of these things that you see, right? Because I'm sure everybody, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen um, an advertisement about, oh, Wix can help you with the website or, oh, I made $27,000 a year drop shipping and doing all this and yada, yada, yada. All right. You don't have to do all that. OK, I'm giving you the real way that costs no money. OK, so I want to recap this real quickly to you guys. All right. So here are the five things that you need to do. One, find a problem that you have the ability and resource to solve and learn everything about that problem. OK, two need to find the people with that problem and learn everything about them, okay? Number three, you need to connect with those people. Number four, you need to create content for those people. And number five, you set up a free payment platform, okay? All of that costs you no money, I guarantee it. And if I could start over, I absolutely would have done it this way because these banners behind me is one of the first thing I bought and I can I have three of them, only two are up right now and that cost me about $2,000. I had to buy, I got a really expensive website, which I changed completely and made it more slim and it's way cheaper. Um, I started off free, but at, with my services now, I pay like 10 bucks a month, but I'm not advising you to do that. I'm advising you to go get the free website, all right? I just needed a couple capabilities on mine. But if you follow these things, right? Follow these steps, it'll be free. Because at the end of the day, if you're not able to do these fundamental things, if your business doesn't solve a problem, if, you, if there's not a lot of people with a problem that you solve, and if you can't reach the people with the problem that you can solve, you're dead in the water anyway. So this is a good test to see if your business is viable. All right. So that's how you start a business in 2020. Um, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Leave comments below. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm at busyj, B-U-S-Y underscore J-A-Y-Y. You can also look, at, look us up on Facebook at JBM Consultants. Um, visit jbmconsultants.org if you want to schedule an appointment to talk with me one-on-one -on -one, um, about any business questions that you may have, okay? Um, thank you guys for tuning in.
peace, love, prosperity.